Hey y'all, it's me again. I'm back with my stylist haul. Um, the makeup group I'm um, in on Facebook, um, they have been raving about um, a stylist girl highlighter, and I thought I would just take a chance and go find it. Um, a lot of people said it was hard to find because these products, um, the Styly Girl products, most of them are only 99 cents. So I actually looked up and got the last one. Um, and it's a pretty color. It's kind of cracking. It looks like it's going to crack more. So it comes in a package like this. And it says, um, uh, Sally Girl Highlighter. Um, yeah, and then the other two are in Spanish. I mean, well, different languages. It's 4.5 grams or 0.15 ounces. And this one is in Soft Lights. And the number is 388. 420 and a lot of people just saying like this is a great and expensive highlighter and it looks like that and with this line they have single shadows they have glitter um uh, probably about 10 to 12 colors of the um, colored glitter the adhesive they have um many lipsticks many lip glosses um mini lip glosses with the wand or the squeeze tube um they have trio shadows quad shadows um shimmer strips like about this size they have like four different colors that you can use separately or just swirl them all together to create a color and all of it is 99 cents so it's a great deal they have liquid liners they have um mini mascaras um mini eyeliners everything so it's a good um I think it would probably be a good way to start, like if you're just starting your collection, try the Sally's Girl along with like Elf and Wet n Wild, you know, just to get a feel of what you like. Um, the next one I have is a bronzing powder and this one is um, in 38846 and it comes in the same package, just like that. And I actually got this one because I was going to use it to contour with to see how that goes. Because I have the contour highlight um duo from e.l.f. but I don't know if I have a bad one. Like I have a problem getting um the uh, blush on my brush. Like I have to like sweep, sweep, sweep and I'm not getting like any color payoff. And I kind of scratch the top layer and then use um the brush and I got some color to get on it. So I don't know if I have a bad um just a bad one. I don't know if I should give it a, another try, but the contour powder in that is light, and I'm not really getting what I want out of that. So I might just try another one, and if that doesn't work, I'm just going to leave it alone. So next, um, I got two different, oops, two different eyebrow um, powders. Oh yeah, this is part of the 99 cents also. Um, I got. 388627 in Ebony, which I believe is the darkest shade. But I wouldn't be surprised if they had one that had black in it. But this is what I got. And um, 388626 in Brunette. I have this obsession right now with blush and also my brows. And today I kind of will show you this one. How my brows came out today. And... I'm learning that um, I'm just trying to get a feel of how I want my brows to look and what products I'm going to use. So I've been just getting a lot of different things. I have not tried this before, but for 99 cents, I thought I would give it a try. It comes with a small brush, which I won't be using. And this one has like a dark brown and a medium brown powder. And this one has a... Like a light brown, like a brunette in a taupe color. And what I think I'm going to do is, um, let me show you another product that I am liking at this moment. Um, I actually use it today for the first time. This is the Maybelline Line Stylist um, and Espresso in 602. And... One problem I was having drawing my, um, like outlining my brows, I outlined 
the bottom and the top and then I fill it in with um, pencil and brow powder um, sometimes I make my lines too thick but I use um, a q-tip and some makeup remover to kind of like um, get rid of some of my mistakes um, and then I'll use the um, concealer to um, clean it up also but it's an extremely fine point pencil and it's retractable very skinny pencil. I got a lot of swatches on my hand, but let me. Oops, I broke it. Okay, we know now you can't roll it up too much because it's fragile because it's so thin. Um, that's not a good example. And that thin line right there. So I'm able to trace, um, outline my eyebrows really well with this. You have to be light-handed because it is a, like a long-wearing pencil. So I kind of like um, outline my brows and get the spoolie and kind of like um, blend it in. And I've been using my Maybelline Brow Powder, the dark medium. It's the dark powder and I use the light powder. I kind of um, do the dark powder at the end and then use the lighter power powder at the beginning to blend it in to give it that faded look to give it um make it look more natural so what i think i'm going to do is probably use a combination of both of these colors in the ebony um brow powder and then kind of like um probably use that light color to fade the beginning of my brows in so i'm gonna let you know how that goes i want to do um a brow um, tutorial but like I said I'm still trying to figure things out I don't do my brows the same way all the time so that's why some days it may look good other days it may not look so good and another thing I got for my brows is um the Revlon Brow Fantasy pencil and gel and 106 dark brown I used to use this so I'm gonna I'm gonna see um to set my brows I usually use the um elf a uh, dollar clear mascara but it runs out so fast I mean it's good but it runs out fast so I'm um I know the gel used to be really good I used to just use it for the gel and not the pencil because a good thing to do if you don't want dramatic brows you can kind of like outline your brows and kind of blend it with the color gel and it's going to give you that very natural brow but with me, I'm not always in a natural mood. I like to be dramatic sometimes. So that's, you use the pencil first, which is right there. And then you use the gel with the um, wand to set it. So once I get like an okay routine down, I am gonna do a brow video. So y'all can keep uh, tuned for that. I think that's about it for my weekend haul, which wasn't too bad. I do have a huge Revlon and Wet n Wild haul that I need to do. Um, that video is probably going to be hella long because it's a lot of stuff. Like with the um, last uh, Wet n Wild 40% off sale at Rite Aid, I tried to get everything off of the collection that I didn't have because I know it's the beginning of the year and... This is the time of the year that they discontinue some products to bring in new products. So I want to make sure I had everything I wanted from most of the product lines before it's discontinued and I can't find it. So that's just my little um, Sally's and CVS haul. This is mainly about the brows. So yeah, if you have any um, video, brow videos that you can um, recommend to me or products, Please let me know because I'm like really, really, really obsessed with the whole brow thing. And even though I have a wig with the bang, I still want my brows to look good. Because I never know, like I just did, like I swept my hair to the side or the wind may blow. And you just want to, everything to be point. You don't want your eye makeup to look, you know, on point and then your brows look like what happened. So... <laughs> I'm just rambling. I'm tired, you guys. It's been, uh, I don't want to get into a rant on this video. It's been a stressful week, and I have more stressful weeks to go.
I'm going to just leave it at that. But thank you guys for tuning in. And I want to thank all my subscribers, new and old. And um, I think I have about 81 subscribers. And I am going to do a 100 subscriber contest. And as soon as I, I would say when I get to 90, I'm going to um, post a video letting you know more details on the giveaway that I want to do. So if you have any suggestions on, um, you know, something fun that we can do for um, the giveaway, just let me know. I'm open to suggestions. If not, I'll probably just make it simple, you know, like I'll post a video um, for a certain uh, amount of time and just tell you to leave a comment saying that you want to enter the um, giveaway probably and then probably do something different when I get to like 150. So, well, just let me know. Still rambling. <laughs> You guys have a good night, and thank you so much for watching my videos, and I'll see you next time.